Hi everyone from Dunrobin Ranch um, on a May day. Um, is today the third, Jake? I think today. Huh? Oh boy, today's a big day. Today is Augie's birthday. And it's the day that we are going to plant a tree in Augie's grandmother's memory. Uh, what a full circle of life we have going on here. Um, I am standing here next to Lanza. Uh, and, of course, Lanza is my continued connection with Annie. Uh, Annie was the first horse that came to Dunrovin. And I'm standing in the corral, which um, was not even built to be a, a riding arena. It was built as her first pasture. When we first moved to Dunrovin, this is what, what was all... Um, what I called old growth, old growth nap weed. It was just full of weeds, and we tried to convert it to a pasture. And the first thing I de did was build an arena for Annie, so I could bring Annie home because I had bought her and had to leave her at the farm where she uh, was because I didn't have a fenced-in area to keep her. And it was a most exciting day when I brought her home for the first time. So these rails and these posts have been here since. Um, I brought Annie home, and they really connect me to Annie. This whole part of the ranch does. And, of course, her daughter connects me to her as well. Um, Lanza, as, as many of you know, Lanza was named after my father, in part because my father was the one who loved animals so and taught me to love them so. And as I got to thinking about how I wanted to memorialize Annie in terms of a tree, I got to thinking about my dad. Uh, my dad is such a, an important figure in my life, and Annie was the last horse that he knew, and uh, he really loved her. He, he came out and visited her, and he just loved the fact that I had realized my own dreams and uh, gotten to have a horse to come and live with me. And so Annie connects me to my dad. Annie connects me to, of course, Lanza and her grandson, Augie, whose birthday it is today. We need to do something special for Augie today. How did I let this go by? At any rate, um, I have selected a uh, blue spruce tree uh, for uh, Annie. I have some of her mane here that I clipped uh, when she died. And we're going to uh, plant this tree over on what we call the bench, which is towards the river. And uh, the reason we're planting it there is I have hopes that um, we will be able to put a web camera over there. And a spruce tree is a very good um, place for the little finches to land. In fact, I think Celia has been taking a lot of pictures of the red finches that are using the fat Albert tree right here near the office as a uh, perch. And that was another thing that my dad loved were uh, finches. He just delighted in finches, particularly goldfinches. Um, and the other connection to my dad uh, is the fact that when I lived in Butte when I was a child, my dad planted two blue spruce trees in our front yard. And they were just tiny, and of course, now they occupy the entire front yard of that place that I called home. But Butte, Montana is very high, and uh, not many things grow there, uh, ornamental things, but blue spruce just thrive. There are a lot of blue spruce in my hometown of Butte. So all of these things just were going around in my mind, and I'm thinking a blue spruce is just the ideal tree for Annie because... It connects me to my dad, it connects me to home, it connects me to the finches. It'll be a great uh, cover for the finches, a place to visit, and hopefully we will have a camera over there that we can see them in the future. And of course, um, Annie is just, you know, that horse that has such a long, deep history with me and my family. So I wanted to keep that connection. So at, at this point, I will join Jake. He will join me to go over and actually put the tree in the hole. You'll see me walk over on the ranch camera and join up with Jake, and we'll walk over to actually plant the tree. Um, I'll see you there.
going to the Well, uh, follow up. We're still on, aren't we? Yes. I don't know how it is that I neglected to set aside time to celebrate Augie's birth. But I have to say, this is a great way to celebrate it, to commemorate his grandmother. I'll have to come out later and... Um, give Augie some TLC and some carrots. What a beautiful day for this. Beautiful day. Lovely, yeah. So I assume everybody can see us. And this is the area we call the bench. And that's a common term used in Montana for a flat space that sort of drops off like a bench. Um, overlooking something else, in this case, the Bitterroot River, which is, out to the camera. yeah, which is, by the way, flooding <laughs> considerably. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it's really flooding. Yeah. Uh, and so this is uh, what we call our bench. And over here, I'm hopeful that we will be able to find the resources to put a web camera on this pole. This pole was installed by uh, Northwest Energy, or actually it was Montana Power at the time, in the hopes of luring an osprey to build a nest here. But it's in the wrong place for an osprey because it's next to a tree that is higher than the pole. And as most of you know, ospreys won't select a site like that. So it's just been a pole sitting here, but it's the ideal place for a, a web camera because there are different birds and different wildlife that utilize this riparian area. And then we can also use it as a repeater station to get um, the controls for a web camera on the river. So it's kind of an intermediate step as well. But I wanted to plant some um, evergreen trees here uh, so the birds could use it for cover. We will also plant a pine tree out here. Uh, probably right next to it, but I also didn't want to block the view of the riparian from the ranch camera. So we've set it, there's kind of a, an opening here that you can see through the the cottonwoods, and this one's sort of right in front of a big cottonwood so that it it's not going to impact everybody's view. And this is a, a blue spruce. Um, they, they are hardy. Annie was hardy. Annie was one of the hardiest horses I've ever known. She uh, was, you know, injured early in her life, and that just did not deter her one bit. Uh, she kept her spirit throughout her life and was just always determined. And I, I think a, a hardy, you know, a tree that's used to adverse conditions just represents the kind of horse that she was. So I think it's a very appropriate tree to plant in, in her um, honor. So I'm going to take her mane and I will put it underneath the hole that um, Jake has dug and uh, he will place the tree right on top of it. 
and this will become Annie's tree. Um, I hope to live long enough that I can come and sit on a picnic bench in the shade of Annie's tree. I'm going to cry here in a moment. It makes me sad. It really makes me sad. But I'm really happy that Annie was with me all these years. It, you know, she had a lot of strikes against her, but boy, she was one determined, one resilient, one wonderful horse. And I miss her terribly. So I will think of her as we take care of this tree. And hopefully it will become a favorite of some finches in the future so that uh, uh, she and my dad will stay in my memory and, and I will think of them as I watch this tree grow. And I really thank you for joining me in this. It's uh, Thank all of you. Yeah, it's a really, you know, I love planting a tree in my horse's memories. And I do have the gift certificate that all of you gave us for Cool Dude, and we've decided to plant an apricot tree in our orchard uh, in Cool Dude's honor. And it, we will be doing that soon, as soon as we have an opportunity to, to pick it up. Uh, we haven't decided what to do for Smokey, but we too will do something in his honor. And thank you for joining me. And I will get back on later in the day to say happy birthday to Augie. But right now, I'll sign off so we can finish planting the tree. Thank you all. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.